hey guys how are you i just want to talk to you guys about this really really quickly so i was having a discussion yesterday and i did i was talking to god about something that happened to me you know a couple days ago and he gave me the instructions to just be still and he said have you always haven't have i let you down every time i told you to be still i said no so you always have to just be still sometimes when god tells you to be still actually every time god tells you to be still just just listen to him okay but anyways what i want to talk about is um i spoke to god about this and he basically said there's a lot of jealousy in his kingdom and it's pr it's pretty sad it's jealousy between other brothers and sisters of christ it's jealousy and the sad part about it is that because some of these individuals they have jealousy within their heart it's so easy for the devil to use them okay People are not understanding the difference between discerning spirit when it, when God talks to you and discerning spirit when the devil is, is attempting to do something and trying to get you to do something. People have to learn how to discern spirit. People have to learn that the devil also can masquerade people. The devil can also lie. The devil is here to steal. The devil can make you do things that you think that you're doing the right thing and deep down you're really not, okay? So God does not operate through slander. God does not operate through defamation of character. God does not operate through putting anyone down, okay? And what people don't understand is that just as easily as God can give you a blessing, he can take it from you. Just like when God is walking with you and he can give you prophecies, he can take it from you. Do you get what I'm saying? He can take away your privileges from doing specific things if he sees that there is jealousy within your heart or if he sees that you are ridiculing another brother and sister in Christ. Okay, the scripture I got is James 4 verse 11. Brothers and script, sorry, brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against another brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only a lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you who are to you, but you, who are you to judge your neighbor? Okay, and what God God was telling me when he gave me the scripture is there's so many brothers and sisters in Christ who are sitting here and judging and ridiculing another brother and sister in Christ. And what they don't understand is they put themselves in a position to be judged from God when they do that. Now, guys, when this is happening to you, God does not want you to fight fire with fire. God does not want you to argue back. This is happening to me too. This happens to me a lot, okay, because I'm a content creator. There's always someone talking ish about me always someone making videos about me always someone lying lying on me to frame in my character right and people will believe it what people don't understand is when they feed into that and they're like yes this happened da, 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 and you're feeding into that you're giving the devil what he wants and you're no better than the actual content creator who is speaking this ill stuff you're no better than this content creator by entertaining it as a viewer god can still judge you for doing that do you get what i'm saying god can still judge you for doing that now for many of you guys going through this okay and it doesn't only have to be on youtube or instagram stuff god was telling me that when you're a child of god people are going to frame your character a lot okay and and it doesn't have to be another child of god doing it it can be just someone out there in the public it could be your employer it could be your mom it could be a brother it could be a sister it could be a friend people are going to defame your character when there is jealousy when there's jealousy, when they see you elevating, they will say things to make people second guess you or to second guess their feelings about you or to make people feel like doubtful about you. They will say things to try to push people away from you. And you know what it is? Because they have a jealous spirit that they are not taking accountability from, that they are not getting delivered from. And this jealous spirit will sit there and this jealous spirit will sit there and lie to the person and tell the person, you're right for feeling this way about this person. You're right for feeling that way about the person. That's how the devil works, okay? And what they don't understand is the more and more and more they keep feeding this jealous spirit, the more and more and more God is gonna start taking away from them. And the person that they are ridiculing, the person that they are slandering, the person that they're deframing, that person's gonna continue to elevate. Do you see what I'm saying? And here's the thing. This reminded me, when I got this message, it reminded me of David and Saul. Saul had a very important role in God's kingdom. Saul was also a chosen one from God. Do you get what I'm saying? Saul was living comfortably, but Saul was also very, very, very devious when it came to David's anointing. Very jealous when it came to David's anointing, okay? I'm going to read you a scripture, okay? And this is from... um. 
this is from this is from first Samuel 18 all right this is number eight then Saul became very angry this saying this saying did not please him he said they gave they have given David honor for ten thousands but for me only thousands now what more can can he have but to be king and Saul was jealous and did not trust David from that day on. See, when you have a jealous spirit in you, that jealous spirit will make you not trust the person that you are jealous of. But that jealous spirit is going to speak to you and that jealous spirit is going to say, you're right for feeling this way about that person. Yeah, this person's evil. This person, you can't trust this person. Remember, Saul knew that, da that God was walking with David. So if God is walking with David, why don't you trust David? The jealous spirit took a toll of Saul and because the jealous spirit took a toll of Saul he no longer trusted David if God is walking with David there's no reason for you to not trust David okay so it just confirms that the reason why Saul was jealous of David or Saul did not trust David was because of that jealous spirit it's because David had 10,000 more and Saul only had a thousand and Saul was watching the numbers Saul was watching all that happening and Saul realized that David was getting more recognition than he was right and then God had to humble Saul God had to humble Saul. Let me read this to you, okay? So, um, so, and he threw a spear, thinking it will nail David to the wall. But David jumped out of his way twice. Saul became afraid of David because the Lord was with him, but had left Saul. And this is what a lot of people need to be careful of. You got to be careful how the devil can use you. I have watched people literally uh target and and deframe my character and ended up losing a blessing that god originally gave them because they did that and i'm using that as an example i'm testifying to that that there has been people that has done this to me in the physical and that has done this to me on youtube and that has done this to me on instagram and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going through the same thing and god told me where they try to shame you i will elevate you like that ridiculed message Every time someone tries to shame you, God is going to elevate you. And that's what happened. Saul kept trying to shame David. Saul kept feeling some type of way about David. And every time Saul tried to even, you know, attempt to hurt David or harm David or his heart got colder towards David, God always kept blessing David because David kept peace. David was sitting there and just playing his harp and being peaceful. Every time Saul tried to throw something at David and try to pit him against the wall, David just, you know, played his harp and just stayed peaceful. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, when God tells you to be still and not to do nothing, he is telling you for a reason. He is telling you because being the peacemaker, you will always win being the peacemaker. If you fight fire with fire, if you try to slander someone back, if you deframe them back, you're no different from them. Do you get what I'm saying? You're doing, you're, you're doing exactly exact same thing they're doing if you participate in it as well you are doing the exact same thing that this person is doing basically right so the best thing to do is just to be still like i always tell you guys mind your business and drink your water drink the and mind the business that god gave you that will go a long way that lesson will go a long way okay because god can take away blessings and when people this is why for those of you guys who are experiencing it this is why people are watching you elevate this is why god says i will bless you know i'll prepare a table a table for you in front of your enemies because god wants your enemies to see that the plots they planned that their evil intentions did not work god wants them to see that he is really walking with you this is why it's best to keep yourself peaceful there's another scripture here this is james okay this is james um three verse seven verse 18 sorry peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness the peacemakers always win and god says when they try to shame you i will elevate you be still okay this is for someone okay love you guys talk to you soon bye